Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's Patch Tuesday time again, which is the second Tuesday of the month, which in my region was the 14th of March. And the updates started rolling out um, late yesterday in my region. And the Patch Tuesday updates, as many of you will know, are automatic compulsory mandatory updates that will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. And for Windows 10 this month, the update is KB5023696 and uh, um, has rolled out for Windows 10 versions uh, 22H2, 21H2 and Windows Server 20H2. And uh, the updates that do roll out um, on the second Tuesday of every month are security updates and um, they address issues and security issues uh, in the Windows 10 and 11 operating system. Now, although um, the update doesn't include any new features, if you didn't install this update, KB5022906, which was the February optional bug fix C release update that rolled out near the end of February, then those improvements and fixes will be carried over into this update automatically for Patch Tuesday. So just take note of that. And uh, I did post a whole video on um, that update, 5022906, which I'll leave down below. But just to do a quick recap for the purpose of this video, um, the update opens the informational links faster on the Windows Spotlight on the lock screen. So that's that Windows Spotlight page on the lock screen. If you click on those information links, they will open a lot faster, as I did mention in that previous video. And it also fixes video playback on an unnamed streaming app, includes fixes for Excel, OneDrive, Edge, and also includes other improvements. But as mentioned, I'll leave a link to that video in the description as those fixes are carried over into the Patch Tuesday update for March. Now, um, although it is a security update, um, it does include one or two quality improvements. And just to mention the one, the update addresses an issue that affects a computer account and, and Active Directory. So when you reuse an existing computer account to join an AAD, that's an Active Directory domain, the join-in was failing, so that bug has been addressed with this latest update 5023696. Now, just to mention a couple of these security fixes that have rolled out um, for Windows, uh, the Windows 10 operating system. In total, there are 52 vulnerabilities that have been fixed, so that means 52 security updates have rolled out for Windows 10. Seven of those are critical. Now, a critical vulnerability is your highest ranked vulnerability. So this is a very important update. And one of the fixes and exploits that have been addressed is a zero day, which means it's currently active and it's already exploited in the wild. So it's out there and it's happening. So important to check um, that you get this update um, installed sooner than later. And you can do that by just turning on your computer and that update and um, turning on your computer and restarting your computer will install the update automatically and force the update, so to speak. So um, one zero day that's currently out there already exploited in the wild. Now, just to mention some of the other critical vulnerabilities, um, they are library elevation of privilege, remote code execution vulnerabilities and denial of service vulnerabilities. That's more or less what the seven critical vulnerabilities are made up of. So um, 5023696 will address those vulnerabilities in the Windows 10 operating system and um, especially patch that zero day and basically keep your system um, safe and secure. Now, um, once the update has been applied, because it is an automatic update, um, if we just head to Winver about Windows, and by the way, the update also addresses and rolls out fixes and improvements for the servicing stack, which um, is the component that is responsible for Windows updates on your device. And if we have a look at about Windows quickly, um, for Windows 10 version 22H2, the OS build is now bumped up to 19045.2728. So that's the latest build for the latest stable release of the Windows 10 operating system version 22H2. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.